Hello, I greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Church with your brother Joseph who will promote unity in the body of Christ and speak the truth in love. So we're going to be talking about William Marion Branham, who was a great prophet. I believe he died around 1965-66, thereabout. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments below. And you know, a lot of people have been criticizing him a lot, saying that, you know, he told lies and all those things. He wasn't a, a genuine prophet. So I'll just start off with him narrating how he received the calling into the prophetic ministry. One beautiful September afternoon while coming from the pump with some water, it was a stately poplar tree stood about halfway between the pump and the home. Passing by there, there was a whirl of wind in the tree, what we call here a whirlwind. Why, it was nothing odd for that time of year in this part of the country, but it remained in the tree. It didn't leave. I stopped to see what it was, and a voice spoke from it saying, Do not ever smoke or drink or defile your body in any way, for there will be a work for you to do when you get older. Frightened. That's not a word for it. I ran home quickly, telling my mother that a man spoke to me out of a tree. Well, she thought I was nervous. She put me to bed. But from then on, visions begin to come. And when this comes up on me, it produces a vision. I'm able to tell people what's wrong with them and what they must do in life and the sins that they are holding back in their life. At the age of 37, one night I was praying in my room, and when I raised up, I noticed there was a light on the floor, and looking around to see where it come from, it was coming from above. The pillar of fire was hanging just above, it was throwing the light on the floor. I heard someone walking. I looked coming through the room, coming into this light came a man, and human figure, he'd be about 200 pounds of weight. He had dark hair to his shoulder, an olive complexion. He's barefooted. Of course, I was frightened. And he said to me, fear not. And as soon as I heard that voice, I knew it was the same voice that had always spoke to me. But the first time I'd ever seen him in human form. And he said, I'm sent from the presence of God to tell you that you're to pray for sick people. Great signs and wonders will be following your ministry. And you'll be praying for kings and monarchs and so forth. Well, I told him I was a poor man. I had a, no education. I would not be able to do this job. He said as Moses was given two signs of confirmation of his ministry, that I would be given two signs. One would be the praying for the sick, the miracles, and the other would be, you know, the very secrets of the people's heart. So before we continue with that wonderful testimony, you know, uh, Prophet Angel has come out to respond, you know, to the claims of people who actually have been, you know, saying some certain things, you know, critiquing uh, William Marion Branham. And this is what he has to say about the prophetic ministry of Prophet Branham. I looked at William Branham. The way people opposed that man. They say he was not a good man. At the end of his ministry, he was a reckless man. Badly managing finances. Claiming what he was never told by God. Do you notice? We are very good at analyzing somebody who is more gifted than us. I have advice for you. If you have not done 1% of what Branham has done, shut up. You are not qualified to talk. If you've even done 10%, don't talk. You don't know Branham. You don't know him like that. You know him because somebody gossiping told a writer and the writer wrote it and you believe it. Listen to me. When I started studying William Marion Branham, read his history, looked closely you, you understand critically doing this i looked at his life and i discounted what everyone told me and i said no 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 this man here by the spirit i looked at it i said this was a general bar none when it comes to the prophetic but the reason why you don't see it is because 
you all have been lied to by people who want to analyze men of God pretenders liars finishes with no fire but notice God is talking here we go remember therefore from whence thou art fallen so my family I will leave you with uh, you know just just a few videos maybe just one video or two videos of the prophetic ministry of William Branham so that you can just see for those who haven't you know heard about his ministry this is how he ministered to the sick this is how he prophesied to people just get to watch it tell me what you think in the comments below like share comment and subscribe God bless you but to be condemned at the end is that right but the only thing this is to do is to glorify God and to reveal Jesus Christ that when he was here on earth, he did this very same thing. All Bible readers believe that, say amen. And he said, when I go away, and I'll come again a little while, and the world will see me no more. That's the unbelievers. But ye shall see me, who? The believers. For I'll be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. Is that true? Then it's sin to disbelieve. Go ye and sin no more, or disbelieve no more, or a worse thing than this will come upon you, said Jesus. Is that true? Then we must believe. It's got to be a belief. Or perish. If I was God, if they couldn't take my word for it, well, that would settle it. But people still don't take the word, then signs and wonders are added into the church as Jesus Christ promised to do. And to my honest belief, I believe he's finishing up right now with the Gentiles and we'll turn to the Jews right away. And the Gentiles will be left in their dogmas and the things that they've got in their creeds and cold formal denominations and the church will be raptured and tucked up and the gospel will go to the Jews. Amen. Amen means so be it. All right. Excuse me, sister. I have to relax my mind once in a while. Now we are be strangers. I see that you are strictly a stranger to me. Yes, sir. You're from away from here. Yes, sir. You come from another city. Yes, sir. You've got a lot of trouble on your heart. You got hard trouble to begin with. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. There's a whole lot of blackness. I see a black sheep keep following you like that. Oh, it's a lie. Somebody's told a lie on you. And that was a man was professing divine healing. Yes, sir. He said you was a witch. Yes, sir. Is that true? And you, you've got a whole stir in your church or something other about it, isn't that right? Your pastor's sick right now. He's got polio. Is that right? Sister, don't pay no attention to what them people tell you. They're lying. And the only thing's wrong with your heart is that nervous condition got your heart worked up. Go on home in peace and God bless you. You're all right. God bless you. You're not a word. You believe with all your heart? Believe God will heal you that deep. Believe you make you well about asking. Lord Jesus, I pray that you'll heal the woman and may she get completely whole. I ask this blessing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Go on your road rejoicing, saying, thank you, Lord, and you'll get well. Come, lady. Almighty God, author of life, give this woman her perfect health in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. Just a minute. Something happened to you. You know that. You're aware of that. Is that right? Why, it's all over the building. And every person here could be healed right now if you'd believe it. You believe this? Have faith in God. Are you one of the ushers, sir? All right, sir. That lady sitting right there. Got heart trouble. That speckled dress on. Stand up, lady. He just healed you. They have that heart trouble. You believe that with all your heart? All right. There's such a lady there with her handkerchief up crying. Just had a lick on the head the other day. She's got a headache. It's calling it. Is that right? Stand up and accept your healing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. How many of the rest of you want to accept your healing? Jesus Christ is right here now to heal you. Do you believe that? All that wants to be healed, stand to your feet right now. Every person in the building that wants to be healed, stand to your feet. Raise up your hands like this to God. Almighty God, the author of life, the giver of every good gift. As our spirit is here tonight, I pray that you'll heal every person in this building. Thou art here. The Holy Spirit is here. And I now, as your servant, along with these other servants, curse every disease that's in here. May the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, heal every person in here. Satan, 
leave these people in Jesus Christ's name.